2 Samuel 7.10a Ve sam ti makom la ami le Yisrael una tativ ve shachan tachtav velo yirgaz od The Lord continues his promise in direct discourse to Nathan to tell David to adjust what Nathan wrongly told David. And the Lord says to Nathan, And I will make a place for my people, for Israel, and I will plant him, and he will dwell under it. Um, and, and we have the negative. He will not quake again, or we might smooth that out. He will not be disturbed again. The samti, uh, we can see that there's only two root letters showing, a seen and a meme. Middle root letter being yod in this case, it's a hollow. So named because the letter falls out as it does here. This is a kal vav consecutive perfect. 1CS. So, I have set, or I have made. Unitativ. Now, in this case, we see nun, tate, ayin, our root letters are all showing. So, we have a kal, vav, consecutive, perfect, a 1CS with a 3MS pronominal suffix. So, um, I will plant him. And the him, the 3MS, refers to Israel, who's a collective. So it's taken as a singular um, subject, excuse me, uh, pronominal suffix here. We notice then, following along the same theme, that Vashachan, another Vav consecutive perfect. So, I will make, I will plant... He will dwell or rest or something like that. But then we have a shift to an imperfect verb. And that is necessary because of the negative. So to go with a strong negative this way, we need to have a shift in construction. So it still is, and uh, he will not quake again. So continuing with the future sense shift to an imperfect, but it follows the sense just needs to happen to switch to the negative. Here in the Lord's promise to David. And take just brief note, the use of the word plant him Israel under it, that is um, under uh, the place that I will make for my people, um, a little bit suggestive when we think about Amos 9 and the branch of David that will grow up over his restored kingdom.